Hello peeps, welcome back to Big Deck Player with me, Matt Sparks. On today's show, we're taking a look at the very first deck featuring the Grand Tournament cards. We're going to take a look at a Warrior deck, because there seems to be Shaman decks everywhere at the moment, but we featured a Shaman deck last week. This week I wanted to make it a bit different. This has been posted on hearthpone.com by Granite, and it's just called the TGT Dragon Warrior. Okay, so here's the deck. Now, it's, it plays a little strange. It's not quite your usual Control Warrior, which is what I'm used to playing. But if you've been playing Control Warrior, it's not so dissimilar that you'll not be able to pick this up and play it. Now, if you are a new player, this might be a little bit beyond your reach because it does have a lot of legendaries, as you can probably see already just from having a quick glance through the list. If you were to craft it, it would cost you over 16,000 dust. So, this isn't really a deck for, for new players, unfortunately. But, it is still very, very good. So let's take a look at what's in the deck. So we start off with a couple of executes, because you need that for getting rid of big stuff and stuff that gets in the way. We've only got one shield slam, which is kind of annoying. I kind of like to have two shield slams, really. But, um, but that's probably just the control warrior in me <laughs> wanting to have more stuff like that but we've got one of those so that obviously will deal one damage for every armor that you have to a minion which is very very cool we have two fiery war axe it's been nicknamed the fiery win axe yeah i don't think you, you can really have a complete warrior deck without having fiery war axe in there and this is the first of the grand tournament cards alex Straza's champion 2-3 two, for 2, but if you're holding a dragon in your hand, it gains plus 1 attack and charge, which is awesome! Like, really cool. So you basically get a 3-3 three, three with charge for 2 mana, which is just amazing. Really, really good, really strong card. When you mulligan, you kind of want a mulligan for your Fiery War Axe and Alex Straz as champion, because they're just really strong. Also at 2 mana we have an Armorsmith. We've only got one Armorsmith, so it's probably best to play this before you start making trades. We only have one Cruel Taskmaster as well in this deck. Again, this is this is kind of alien to me because I'm so used to playing Control Warrior. I've been playing Control Warrior for well over a year now. And you kind of see little changes here and there. So this is a bit weird for me, just like not having multiples of these cards in. So Cruel Taskmaster does one damage to a minion and gives it plus two attack. Now you can use this on your own minions to buff them up or you can use that one damage to finish something off on your opponent's side. At three mana we have two Acolyte of Pains. These are fairly reliable card draw. You're probably going to get one or two cards out of them. If you're really lucky you'll get three but that doesn't happen very often. This is pretty much your main source of card draw so try and play these sensibly we've got a couple of death spites in this deck so obviously if you can play your acolyte of pain before the death rattle on the death spite guarantee you a card that's probably a good idea also at three mana we have a big game hunter still very very necessary in these in the decks um, now that tgt has come out there's probably even more legendaries that you need to worry about now than there were before but People are still playing Dr. Boom, so Big Game Hunter is still necessary. And then finally at 3 mana we have two Blackwing Technicians, because this is a Dragon Warrior after all. So if you're holding a dragon in your hand, it gains 1-1. One, one. So you play this on turn 3 and then you've got a 3-5 for 3 mana on turn 3, which is just, just, um, it's just great. It's just great stats, because you're, you're almost guaranteed to get 2 for 1 trades out of that. As I mentioned earlier, we've got 2 Death Spite for that extra damage. Being able to take out stuff with 4 health is very nice, and uh, the, the 1 damage to all minions can be pretty useful too. Also at 4 mana we have some more TGT cards. The Twilight Guardians. This is an epic card. These are a 2-6 for 4, but if you're holding a dragon it gains plus 1 attack and taunt. So that gives you a 3-6 for 4 mana with taunt. Really strong. This, I think this is the first dragon in this deck so far, so when you mulligan you might want to have one of these ready in your hand just so that when you come to play Alex Straza's Champion or the Blackwing Technician they get the full buff that they can get from having a dragon in your hand. At 5 mana we have two Blackwing Corruptors. Again these make the best use of having dragons in your hand. So if you're holding a dragon 
you deal three damage when you play it. Just like a fire elemental does for shaman. At six mana. Now I've changed this ever so slightly. I've put Emperor Tharasan into this deck, but the actual deck listing shows Justicar True Heart, which I unfortunately don't have yet. There's only so many legendaries I can get this early into the expansion, so uh, unfortunately I don't have Justicar True Heart. If you're fortunate enough to have Justicar True Heart, then that's where you should put her, but I don't, so instead I've put Emperor Tharasan. Because there are a lot of high cost creatures from like 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. I figured this might be a, a nice way of being able to get those creatures out a bit earlier than I would normally. And I'll, I'll have to say, it's it's proven to be pretty useful. I've had some pretty narrow squeaks, but having being able to get Alex Straza out on like turn 7 or 8 instead of turn 9 has won me the game. If you don't have Justice of True Heart, then Emperor Tharasan I think is a, a worthy replacement. Also at 6 mana we have one Shield Maiden. Now you might want to keep hold of your Shield Slam for when you use your Shield Maiden because you gain the 5 armor with the Shield Maiden so your Shield Slam is going to guarantee do 5 damage which will get rid of quite a lot of stuff. At 7 mana you'll notice we, there is no Doctor Boom but we have another dragon in the form of Chilmore. This is another TGT, this is a TGT legendary. So this is a 6-6 six, six dragon with taunt and if you're holding a dragon when it dies it deals 3 damage to all minions. At 8 mana we have a Chromagus, another dragon. This one can evade being killed by, by Big Game Hunter, as does Chilmore actually, which is pretty useful. And whenever you draw a card, you put another copy of that card into your hand. Also at 8 mana we have Gromish Helm Screen, a staple of most warrior decks. This might be what you want to keep your Cruel Taskmaster for, so you can get the 12 damage on a Grom Helm Screen with charge. Also at 8 mana we have a Ragnaros the Fire Lord, because it's Ragnaros. He doesn't get used as much as he used to, but I'm finding a bit of a resurgence with Ragnaros recently. At 9 mana we have Alex Straza. This is another kind of staple of the Control Warrior. I'm finding in this particular deck, because you're not generating quite as much armor as you would in the Control Warrior deck, because you've only got one Shield Maiden, you've only got one Armor Smith, you haven't got any shield block, so you're not generating anywhere near as much armor as you would in a control warrior. So I'm finding Alex Straza gets used on me more often than I'm using it on my opponent. But it all kind of depends on your early game, and I'm finding that more and more at the moment. If your early game sucks, then you're really going to struggle against a lot of the new decks that have uh, emerged from the Grand Tournament. Shamans are really strong at the moment, Priests are really strong at the moment, Mages and Hunters are still really strong, so if you have a really weak early game, if you don't get your early cards out when you need them, then you're going to probably struggle. So having Alex Straza in this deck might mean that you can survive a bit longer. Also at 9 mana we have Nefarian. These are all dragons, so these all help towards having those combos with those earlier minions that we talked about. And Nefarian adds two random spells to your hand from your opponent's class, so that could be really really awesome. I mean, you just have to search for any of these kind of videos of funny moments to see how useful Nefarian can be. Getting a sacrificial pack from a warlock and then they use Jaraxxus and you just kill them off straight away. You know, just stuff like that. It, Nefarian can be really, really useful. Also at 9 mana we have an Acera, which at the end of your turn adds a dream card to your hand. Now as far as I'm aware this combos with Chromagus and the effect that Chromagus has. So if you're, when your Isera puts a card in your hand, I believe Chromagus will then duplicate it. And then last but by no means least, the last TGT legendary of this deck, Varian Rin. I crafted this one this morning specifically for this deck. It's a 7-7 for 10, which seems a bit weak in comparison to some of the other, like for example Nefarian is an 8-8 for 9. So in stats wise, it's not all that great, but his battle cry, you draw three cards. So you're getting card draw. So I, the way I look at it, it would be a seven mana, seven, seven, like the war column, but you're paying that three extra mana to draw three extra cards, which sounds pretty good. And any minions that you draw go straight onto the battlefield. They don't go into your hand, they go straight onto the battlefield, which can be quite nice, but it can also, it could also suck a bit. So it depends on, depends on what it, 
draws. I mean, if it's if it draws out Emperor Tharasan and Chilmore or Chromagus or Ragnaros, that could be good. That could be great. But if it brings out anything that's got like a battle cry, like the Shield Maiden or Alexstrasza, for example, then maybe it's not so good. So that is the deck. That is the Grand Tournament Dragon Warrior deck. Warrior is one of my favourite classes, so I'm going to be playing this for a bit longer, um, especially as I'm still learning how to use some of the TGT cards to their best potential. So thank you very much for watching. If you've got any suggestions for future decks, feel free to link them to me and I'll be sure to check them out. If you do play this deck, let me know how you get on. If you make any videos using it, also feel free to link them to me and I'll be sure to come and check them out. Otherwise, I will see you next week where we will find another deck with some more TGT cards in and see how that does. Also, don't forget, earlier in the week, this week, there was the Hearthstone podcast that we did that uh, we opened almost 80 packs um, and discussed some of the cards that we got, which was pretty fun. Pretty fun indeed. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.